Hello, my friends, it's Krebsy here, and today we're gonna to be playing a bit of War Thunder. Whew! Uh, it, you, you might notice something a little bit different on- Oh my god, people are talking to me. You might notice something a little bit different on your screen at the moment, and it's not on my screen. I can't see it at, right now, but the way that I've got things set up of the video making and the streaming, whatever, uh, there should be a mini keyboard at the bottom of the screen. And you might be wondering, what is that, Krebs? What are you going to be doing today? You're doing something funny. You're doing something funny. Yeah, I'm doing something funny. That's what I'm doing. Uh, what we're going to be doing is, I got this really cool idea from somebody. Uh, one, one of you guys. And I think his name was Kays or something like that. He suggested downloading this one program called Hot Virtual Keyboard. And what it does is, rather than Krebsy saying, Oh, now I'm going to use S to pitch up. And rather than using or saying, uh, I'm going to use my rudder to the left by pressing Q, you know, during a game, rather than doing stuff like that all the time, now you can see Krebsy doing it with the keyboard. It highlights. <laughs> Yay. So now I can just focus on actually, you know, doing the game at hand. Um, talking about the game rather than being you know saying blah 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 this is how I'm turning now if you can actually see it and if you ever have a, a question in your mind how did Krebsy do this really weird ass maneuver well now you can easily just you know re rewind the video a little bit and uh, take a look at it slow it down somehow I don't know download the video whatever uh, and, th and there you go I, I think it's gonna be really really nice uh, really really useful if you find it useful please please let me know and, and I'll do it for future videos as well uh, but but what was I gonna say yeah so you can see everything on it all the keys that I'm pressing including my uh, flaps and I'm gonna be using my macro flaps at the moment so you can see them being pressed three times or you should be able to rather than my scroll wheel because it's just easier to show you guys I think personally uh, because the scroll wheel is a sticky key, if that makes any sense to you guys. But, uh, but yeah, so, wh what are we going to be flying out with today? Well, to be honest with you guys, I was thinking about doing some high tiers, but, and, and I get actually asked this quite often, Krebs, why don't you do high tier planes? And there's three reasons why I don't use high tiers. One, because they're my new tiers, and, you know, a lot of my planes I haven't actually upgraded with the, all the modifications, so, like, Here's my new Mustang, the one that came out in 1.33. It has, n you know, nothing upgraded on it. Um, and two, there are better players. And uh, that doesn't necessarily make me not want to play uh, in higher tiers. Because what tends to happen is that I get the same amount of kills that I normally get in lower tier games. But I just tend to die more. Um, and to be honest, I don't think it's necessarily about better players. But just that I don't have the modifications to compete against some of these players. Um, and so that's why I prefer having those modifications, uh, out, so I don't have to die as often, you know. Uh, dying so much can be a put-off, I guess, you could say. And third, is something that I've noticed in, in, in recent days when I've started playing my high-tier planes, but... When you start getting to higher tiers, you get the advent of bombers of the heavy class, okay? Uh, you know, tier 13... Uh, tier uh, 14, 15. Over here, you've got these heavy bombers. What other examples? I think there's a year twos. Uh, the year twos are another example. I think they're just standard bombers, aren't they? I don't know the heavy bombers. Uh, the Brit, the the Japanese have the G5N1, uh, G8N1, whatever Shinzan. And, and what I started noticing with these ones, uh, and especially in recent days, is people love to abuse them, okay? It's not necessarily abusing them, but it's using them to their capacity that they're supposed to be used. So, they'll go high altitude bombing with them, and they'll destroy bases. They'll destroy your air base with them, which I personally find quite abusive. And before you guys go crazy about that, I'll explain why I find it abusive. So fair enough, they're being used in their right capacity. Uh, but the game does not promote you to go up that high. Fair enough, you can lose the game. But if you're in a fighter plane, a lot of times, you know, your maximum altitude, look, on height... Is going to be maximum speed on height is 5,000 or something. Uh, well, that's a crappy example, but 6,400 for a Fokker Wolf. You have a maximum altitude of 10,200. 
Okay, you know how long it's gonna take to actually climb that high? Sometimes I see... that I had this one game, actually, the other day. Uh, I fondly remember it, because I was like, oh my god, BS. Uh, a Shinzan, I think it was, climbed up to literally 10.5 kilometers. I actually got up that high uh, in my in my Falker Wolf, uh, but at that altitude, I was my maximum speed was like 180 kilometers, 190 kilometers. It wasn't that much, um, and so every time this bomber would start getting close to me, I would try to go for him. But my plane would just lose so much speed having to turn around, and I would lose altitude, and then the, the, the bomber was safe. Like, what am I supposed to do against that? Uh, for one, I have to climb that high. It takes me five minutes to actually get that high. Um, and in that five minutes, I'm wasting time, you know, trying to get kills for this one guy. If I'm tr somebody who's trying to improve my stats, if I want to get higher kill-death ratios, if I want to get more kills per game, and simply just earn more lions and and, uh, and and XP, then going for a high altitude bomber is not a win. Uh, it's not going to be a fast way. I, you know, uh, fair enough, I could lose the game, and uh, but then I could get plenty more kills, and maybe I, that would add up to a lot more than I would get if I had to climb all the way up to that high altitude and then try to kill that, that bomber. But actually what happened in that one situation was, I got a, a few shots off on the bomber, he shot back at me, I died. I climbed all the way up there and then I died. So, uh, it was, it, in my opinion, it's abusive. The game needs to fix it somehow because I think it's a bit ridiculous. I think what should happen is, fair enough, heavy bombers should be able to destroy uh, bases. Bombers should be able to destroy bases. But they should do it under circumstances where they have cover from their teammates. That's the whole point of escorts, right? Okay, escorts. You don't see it a lot in arcade battles, even historical battles, you don't see it a lot. But there has to be some sort of way to promote that sort of thing happening, rather than, you know, somebody sacrificing their credit, their alliance and XP for the game to climb five minutes up into the sky and potentially shoot down this thing, uh, at, or maybe even get shot down themselves by, by the bomber. I think right now it's a bit abusive. I've had a, a number of quite a handfuls of games where I've lost prematurely, you know, uh, from a base being destroyed. Uh, I managed to get two or three kills in the game, and the game is over because, you know, two people on the enemy team decide to go heavy bombers, they destroy the base near enough instantly. Yeah, even one person. So, so that's why I'm not playing the high tiers um, that, that much right now. I just, I just don't think that they're, they're, they're good. Uh, for, in terms of balance uh, with with the heavy bombers. Otherwise, it'd be fine, but with heavy bombers, I don't think it's balanced. Uh, there needs to be some sort of, you know, balances in terms of escorts and stuff like that, but also, it has to be easier that you can get up to those altitudes and kill those people as well, if they're unguarded. That's, that's my opinion. Uh, so, we're not going to go out with any high tiers like that. Uh, the only plane you can maybe use is like the XP-50. That's a very, very good climber and in terms of propeller planes. Until you get to the jets, then you're fine. But otherwise, it's just going to be the XP-50. Uh, and, and so for that reason alone, what we're going to do is stick with some lower tiers. We're going to go with tier 9. <laughs> uh, USSR this time. And we're going to go with them because... We haven't actually tried out this plane yet, the Yak-9K, the Yak-9 Kick-Ass. So we have the Yak-9 Troll, now we have the Yak-9 Kick-Ass. Uh, we're gonna have to try this one out. I don't have many <laughs> modifications on it, actually, actually you can see I have like no modifications at all. Um, sorry about that, that was my flatmate coming in. Uh, I think what we'll do is get started. I was talking about the uh, Yak-9K and not having many modifications on it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll try going out into the game, and there's a, there's a different way that you have to play the Yak-9, the Yak-9K, or any, any plane that's not, not, that doesn't have many modifications on it, if at all, especially ones that don't have any modifications, um, and I'll get onto that in a second when we actually start playing with the Yak-9 kick-ass, um, because it will definitely help your survivability, because that's one of the problems of unmodified planes, is that they don't have much survivability. They just don't fly as great as as a, a fully modified one, alright? Okay, so domination on Zheng Zhao. Zheng Zhao, cool. Alright, and two airfields, but isn't this the one with three airfields now? 
I think. Maybe the graphics, maybe the thing hasn't been updated yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, there's three. There's three airfields. Okay, so first plane we're going to go out into is the LA-5 FN. We're going to try doing the Krebs landing just because because uh, we don't have an instructor anymore. And in terms of actually staying alive, I know some people love going for C and trying to be the early bird, but, you know, trying to stay alive. Me. Uh, I'm going to go for A. I'm just going to tell that guy, yes, I'm going for it. Krebs landing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just lower our speed, because again, we can't go too fast. Can't go too fast. I'm gonna walk from side to side. And here we come for smooth as butter landing. Wonder if any other guys are trying to cap it. Here we go. Look at that. Fat the instructor makes it so much easier, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, nobody else tried to cap it. I think maybe that guy did. Maybe that BF-109 as well. But anyway, uh, first thing that I'm gonna do is go around here. And there's a reason why, it's because there's a lot of ground targets, as you can see. And people, especially bombers, love to come in this direction. Uh, and try to get some bombs off. So, what I'm gonna do is try to go up in the sky, let's take a look at the teams. And there's only one bomber at the moment, so... I don't imagine there will be anyone coming this direction. So, we might as well just keep on climbing, 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 climbing. And what is that? Got a Eric Cobra coming along this way. I think. I wonder if he's coming for me. Is he coming for me? I'm just gonna fly to the side because don't want to take him on directly. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, I don't want to take you on directly. Not an Eric Cobra. And hello. How are you doing? Here we go. And folly number two. Got the elevators, and he's gonna be going down. Oh my gosh, we got somebody behind us. We gotta focus on them now. No alternative. Kill assist? What? Really? <laughs> okay, uh, let's focus on somebody else. Maybe this bowfighter. That BF-109 tried killing me there, but... Bowfighter's the closest guy, and now he's flying away. So, we got nobody to go for. My tail is... my rudder is slightly damaged. And so is my fuselage. But I think we'll be fine. We target a little bit. No. I don't like when they go in the straights. When they go in straights like that, it makes it a lot hard to kill them. Oh, well, we got it anyway. <laughs> uh, what about this? ME410? And I totally kill stole that. Wow, didn't even mean to do it. Thought he was actually gonna <laughs> pull up. Oh shit. Oh shit, is he directly behind me? How far is he? No. Whew. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, what I was gonna say is that you need to fly away from uh, engagements like that, because Point C on Zheng Zhao is like literally the, the hottest target on this entire map. It's not like how it used to be with just two airfields. Let's see if we can go for the Don Yay. I'm not gonna engage in head ons, I'm not in the mood for head ons. Head ons is like all about dice rolls. It's all about dice rolls. So when we're possible, I try to avoid them. Sometimes they take hits, but ideally, as long as you're still alive and you're not too damaged, it's okay. Oh, great. BF-109 head-on. See, you take a lot of damage in these head-ons. I don't think they're worth doing them. That's why I try to avoid them. You don't want things coming down to dice rolls, alright? Let's kill this 109 now, then. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. I'm gonna finish this guy off, and then I'll go for that guy who just landed. Whew! Here we go. I'm worried if there might be somebody behind me, and I think there might be. What the hell? Yeah, there definitely was. Let's see if we can get this guy, and then we can go for the Donier. Yeah, we can go for the Donier, but now we're getting shot by a 109 F4. I'm gonna go down here as well. I'm gonna leave C capped or uncapped. I mean, I'm gonna land him in a second here, but. What are you doing? What are you doing that for? Just die. Just fucking die. <laughs> My engine's still not out. So I'm surprisingly still alive. I don't know how this is possible. <laughs> With such a badly damaged plane. Uh, MC202 and F4. F4 is gonna come for me. I'm probably gonna die now. I imagine. No? Really? Okay, but my engine's gone now. So I'll have to do a landing. Well, almost. 
As soon as it starts properly puttering out, then I'll do a landing. Yay! Here comes the landing! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yep, that's how you do a helicopter landing. So before uh, Harriers came about, that was the way to land. But I'm actually happy with the 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 targets being like this, the bases being the the center of C being neutral because it just means the games drag out a bit longer. Um, and I didn't want to land there. And I mean, most people in my situation would have landed there, but I didn't want to strictly because I don't care about uh, repairing my plane. And also, I want the C to be neutral because it drags out games, and I like getting uh, dragged out games so I can get the most number of kills. Uh, improve stats, improves income, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's go for the B25, easy target. And especially, or even the Donier, uh, because we're in a Yak 9T, a Yak 9 Troll. Wow, I thought that F4U was like a UFO right there or something. Uh, these are 9 Troll and 9 Kick Ass. This is especially good at killing planes like this. Oh my god, my teammates just crashed. Why, teammates, why? <laughs> Knocked out a gunner there. Wow, I feel sorry for that gunner who took a 37mm shell to him. Come on. Go down. Go down. He's not going down, is he? Okay, well, he's lost his tail now. Oh my gosh. We can't be... We're already flaming up bad! Land, 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 Crips, crabs, land, land! I'm gonna... I'm trying... I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it! Oh god, my plane is so duffed. Oh wow, it was totally on a, on a tilt there. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> can we repair? I think we just missed the... Oh no, we can't. We're too badly criticaled. We're too badly criticaled, come on! Damn, that Donier took a lot of 37mm shells. I'm surprised. I am really surprised. Uh, usually, usually they just die in two shots maximum. Uh, but he took a lot there. Um, I guess I just didn't hit that one bolt. That one bolt that kept it all together. I just kept on missing it. I was hoping we could have killed that Donier and then gone for the uh, B25. Yeah, that would have been nice. Anyway, so we're in the Yak-9 kick-ass now, and so rather than, as I was saying, you know, you have to play unmodified planes differently. Rather than go in the heat of the battle, I'm going to try to go for people on the outside. So people like here, the Donier and the Ju-87. They're having a little bit of a skirmish up there. A little bit of a joust. I'll let them be. And we'll see who's going to be the closest target. It's looking like the Ju-87 here. Time to slow down. I think he's going in for a landing. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. You're not landing. You're not landing. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Good. I'm happy with that. Uh, Donier, he's flowing away, but he's coming back, and now I'm gonna actually fly away as well. Because I don't want to take stuff head on. Alright. I'm just gonna gain altitude at the same time. Let's reload because we can. While we're here. And are we going to start engaging him? Well, let's take a look around us. I don't see a lot of teammates, so... Ooh, and Spitfire as well. Okay. Right. Spitfire going to go for landing? I think he is. Yeah, and we're going to intercept him. Easy target. So we're playing a little bit defensively right now, aren't we? No! It's a kill assist! Damn it! <laughs> I think that was another... Oh no, it's just a Ryzen. It's a Ryzen. Okay. Go to school for this Donier. If the ME410 doesn't kill him, I'll get him. Come on. There we go. That's the piece that we needed. Wow. Those back gunners, they're really... They really got a anger management problems, don't they? So keen on shooting at you, as they're, even as they're going down. They'll take down anyone with them. Alright, so C. 
Uh, if we're going to engage furballs, which I don't recommend in unmodified planes, because in unmodified planes, you're just not as fast as possible. You don't turn as great. If we're going to engage C, let's make sure we have as, most, uh, as much altitude as possible so that we can build up as much speed as we possibly can as well. So we'll fly just up and up and up and up and up. Let's get our race flaps going. And we've decapped a B, really. Impressive. With all that stuff going on. That's decapped. Okay, we can drop down these guys because there's not many around here. And we'll go for the F4F because he's tailing after some of our teammates. And nobody seems to be going after him. Whoa. Oh, I got him. Hit him. Hit him slightly, slightly, slightly. Come on. Come here, boy. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why, why why I have to talk to the planes like as if they were uh, a dog. I have no idea why. But that point's capped. I'm just going to let it be capped because if you look at the top, we've still got uh, loads of points. So even if they do cap their other one, which they just did, it's fine. No bother. Let's reload. Oh, we can. We've got a fast reload speed. Let's gain more altitude now. Let's take a look around us. Yak9 Kickass is definitely doing his kickass roll. No, no, no. Recap. Yeah, don't recap. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. We want to get kills. Not end the game early. I think this hero Brian has the idea behind it as well. It's a bit afraid of that Donier behind me. Let's see if we can try to go for him. More tempted to go for these bigger targets rather than the smaller ones like that Aero Cobra there. Just because these things are easy to hit with these 37 or 40 millimeters actually with the uh, Yak 9 kick ass. Come on. Oh, it's just a hit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I just crashed into my teammate there. Had absolutely no idea he was to my side. Oh well, and I got the uh, uh, minus points for that as well. I wonder how they actually determine like who got the crash. Like uh, I don't know. There's no way. I don't think there. I mean, the only way I could have avoided that one is if I looked around. But you know, there's so much going around you that sometimes you just assume that nothing is around you. So fair enough. That's that's that. <laughs> now we have to use a a little Ishak and a mini Ishak. I was hoping we could use the Yak-9 kick-ass a bit longer, but unfortunately no. So looking at the enemy rosters now, it's about half-half. You know, half of our team has quit, half of their team has quit. Cap C. No, can't be bothered. Cap it later. <laughs> we still have plenty of points. We still have plenty of points. Ah, I want to go for this JU-87. So you could say what I'm doing right now is wrong, but I don't think it's wrong. Uh, I, I'm purposely, intentionally dragging out the game to get as much kills as possible. So g 7s going direct off the Donier. They just went, one went under, one went over. Now what are you doing? Where are you going? You're diving. You're doing that as exactly a JU-87 or Stuka should do, dive. Okay, well it looks like I'm gonna have to go for your buddy then. The Kai-45. Die. He's diving as well, so he's going to probably be speeding away soon. Okay, so we're just going to aim in front. Be careful of that back gunner. And he's going to go in for a cap, or he's going to try to kill that BF-109? I think he's going to try to kill that BF-109. We killed that gunner, though, luckily. So that's good. Oh, kill assist. No! I think that was me who might have shot down my teammate. No! No! Oh, that wasn't. Good. <laughs> Whew. Oh my gosh. I thought I might have shot him because he went like directly in front of me. Oh, luckily it wasn't. What's your problem? Cap it. It seems so good. Uh, I might cap it in a second actually because the game's starting to come to that point. Uh, right. I think we might actually go and try it. You might just go and try it. And by doing this, we might actually force our opponent to, opponents to start trying to cap it as well. 
Meaning, they'll become sitting ducks and easy targets to kill. Okay, screw it. Let's go for it. Here we go. Oh shit, I came in way too fast. <laughs> that was way too fast. Come on, crabs. <laughs> I think this hero Brian is raging a little bit too hard. I mean, there's still plenty of time here. Wow, I came in way too fast there, didn't I? Well, we've got that point over there, at least. Ghost Taker's cap in point as well. Is Hero Brian even still in the game? No, he's not. No, he's not. And all I'm gonna do now is just patrol. Let's patrol. Over here. Uh, it looks like we're kind of heavily outnumbered. Very heavily outnumbered, actually. Oh shit, he's dead. Uh. Ugh. Whew! We need to get some kills here. I think there's a guy directly behind me. P-47D, Thunderbolt, yeah. I'm worried about this F-4. Oh man. Oh no, we've got a lot of guys coming now. DIE! No! <laughs> No. Well, at least we got their guy. I think he was one of their best players on the team. Yeah, he was. He is the best player on their team. I'll start going on some other planes. Let's go for the Aero Cobra. C is uncapped. And all of a sudden, we've got more people on our team. They're all using their bombers now. This Demeco guy has been alive for a while. 12 for 2. Gonna have to try finishing him off. I think that other BF-109 is gonna go for the point. This Thunderbolt, I think, is gonna try to go for it as well. Okay, but we're gonna have to try and intercept them. We're gonna have to micromanage here. We're gonna have to do quite a lot of micromanaging. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want him to cap it. Don't want him to cap it. So we can drop down on him really quick here. Oh, he's got it. He's dead. Plus side. But we got another point? Nice. These guys are doing a good job. I need to go for this G2 instead. I need to go for these priority targets, these 109s. Come on. Need some better shot placement here. Need some better shot placement. My Eric Cobra should be able to outturn them quite well. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Don't think so. Don't think so. Come on. Come on, keep turning, keep turning, Krebs. I can manage two of these guys. I just need to start whittling them down. Hit him. But now I'm worried about the turn here. Hopefully these guys won't be able to outturn me. Nah, they can't. They can't. Yes! Flames! Flames is a good sign. Flames is a good sign. Let's reload while we can. And we're gonna come on top of this guy. That other BF-109 is screwed. And our points are whittling down really quick here. Come on, Krebsy. Ah, oh, that's one guy dead. Turn down that throttle. Oh, it's a hit! Doesn't mean anything yet. Oh my god. These scissors are too damn high. Right, I'm just gonna display some more speed. What are you doing? Come on! Oh god, I need to cap! I need to cap, but I can't! Oh, This guy was doing the exact same thing as me. Just losing so much speed. 
Uh, I don't have enough time to cap and all this stuff at the same time. Oh my gosh, our teammate just might have capped. Yes, he did. He did. <sighs> Screw this, I'm out of here. Whatever. Oh my gosh. He was actually directly behind me. No. No, we need to jump out. There's two guys now. I was hoping we could have sped away there. I was hoping we could have sped away, but unfortunately not. <laughs> the points are all down. The, I mean, it's it's neutral and everything, but nah, that Demeco guy's gonna cap it, and that's it. Oh man. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Don't have enough teammates. Could have tried to cap it a little bit earlier, but I think I thought we would have been okay. I thought we would have been okay. Oh man! <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So it got a little bit tense there, but to be fair, we didn't have many teammates left at the end. They had more than we did. Would have been nice to have a few extra teammates. Jump on to another game because we can. We didn't get the most points there. But we'll try to, uh, hmm, we'll try to change up this, the playstyle a little bit. Uh, maybe be a bit more offensive. We were kind of being a bit defensive that time around. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was working, it was working, but whatever. <laughs> okay, support, so support this time. Uh, this is a cool map. It has a lot of uh, furballs in the middle of it. A lot of action in the middle, non-stop. By the same time, you won't get a game lasting near as long as the one that we were just in. No way. Um, just everything's clumped up. Look at that. All the ground targets are clumped up down there. So, it usually means that things are going to die fast. Alright, so my LA5FN first. Just because. And there's lots of bombers. Actually, might have been a better choice to go out on my Yak-9 Troll. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. Might have been better to go out on my Yak-9 Troll. Hmm. Alright, alright. Let's see what we can manage. I want to kill some of these bombers first before we do go for any uh, fighters. So all we're going to do is just gain altitude while we can. The bombers will be at the back, somewhere over there in the distance. Okay, just keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. Alright. JU-87, that could be one of them. Havoc, could be one of them. B-25. And... yeah. Guess we'll maybe go for the go for the havoc. Don't want him let him get away like this. He's being chased after a bullfighter, so if the bullfighter lands his shots correctly, you should be able to kill him. Havoc's actually got some pretty powerful engines, so he's pretty good at escaping. Yeah, he's got him. Hmm. There's that Peshka two up there. Wellington and that low altitude B-25 he probably just got off his bombs yeah so I think it's gonna be time to go for those high altitude guys right up there I wonder if they're dropping their bombs just on the middle MiG-3 acting as a little bit of support yeah but they're a bit higher than I am aren't they the other Wellington's being chased away. And this MiG-3 is trying to go for one of our L Wellingtons. He's act uh, actually acting as support. He's just trying to kill one of our Wellingtons. I don't think I'm going to catch up to him, though. Okay, let's see if we can go for this guy up here. Well, this is going to be hard. He's high altitude. I'm just worried about that BF-109 up there now. Oh, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to go for the Wellington. Uh, too high. Too high. I mean, it's just a kilometer above me, but still too high. 
At, at, at his at his range, I don't think he's going to be hitting a lot. I honestly don't think he's going to be hitting a lot. So let's stop wasting time and start actually killing some stuff. B25! Let's see if we can finish him off. He's, he's more likely to do damage. This guy. Because he's a lower altitude bomber. At the same time, his survival is not going to be as high. Yeah, that's him gone. Let's start turning and get the hell on out of here. Nobody around me? Good. And we've got a BF-109 and a B-25. BF-109 is just going to keep flying away, I think. We'll go for the B-25. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There we are. Okay, let's start turning around. Got a few guys, a few fighters behind me, but hopefully what should happen is it sort of comes in lines. You know, I fly away and then my teammates start flying in there and then they get more, uh, more wary of killing my teammates that are in the middle. Okay, so we're going to gain altitude again. And see, look how much the ground targets have already dropped. In this map, it goes down a lot quicker than the Seng Zhao, where you're actually trying to cap airfields. And that's exactly why I prefer maps like Seng Zhao, so you can actually kill stuff. Let's go for this Havoc here. He's just dropping bombs right over our ground targets. Right over all of our ground targets. Come on. I want to get a clearer shot here. There we go. Right in the kisser. That must have been like a pilot kill. It didn't even come up with a pilot kill, but it had to have been, surely. Oh. We've got a BF-109 just behind us. There we go. And he's been taken out by another BF-109. There's a lot of German planes here, isn't there? Let's take a look. Uh, there's not too many, actually. I've actually noticed... Uh, in some games, sometimes my teams will be... Just half of them will be... Germans. You know, BF-109s, Vakalovs, especially the higher tiers. Okay, so P-63, we could easily come up... Come down for him. Well, unless he drops into the ocean. <laughs> well, what's left? I don't know, we're kind of low on ground targets. I mean, there's loads of just small ground targets that are easy to kill. Um, but at least our ships, most of our ships are still alive. But then what happens that you have to be wary of when your ships... Uh, when when you have ships left is you have to be wary of uh, bow fighters. Because bow fighters have torpedoes. And that, those can become a pain in the arse. Okay, so I'm just going to again fall back. That guy's smoking, I feel sorry for him. He's got like nowhere to land. Maybe he can land on an aircraft carrier, but good luck. Actually, I haven't really tried landing on an aircraft carrier in uh, 1.33 with the new uh, tur turning off uh, instructors. Here we go. I'm going to have to go for this bow fighter here. He's a priority target. The reason is simply because of those torpedoes. He's going to be. What is he doing? I thought he might be going for. Is he dropping a torpedo? Can't even tell. Usually these bullfighters, they tend to actually go for your ships. Just knocked out his pilot there. Perfect shot. Oh my gosh, we've got somebody directly behind us. Two people directly behind us, actually. Come on. Come on, Biatch. We got him. Oh, hello. And now another bullfighter. Okay. Huh. And now this LA5FN really wants to kill me, doesn't he? Okay, don't kill me now. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I was gonna say, if he doesn't kill me that turn, then I would've killed him in the next turn. Oh well. Okay, let's go in the Yak-9 uh, kick-ass so we can level it up a little bit. Grind it. Okay, so we've got 10 targets, mostly ships. And do they have any bullfighters? They have one. And look at that, he's got a torpedo! He's got a torpedo. He's got a torpedo. So, he's gonna be, uh, somebody that we need to kill. And hopefully in this plane we'll be able to kill him faster. I mean, actually in the last one we killed it pretty fast, didn't we? But that was a pilot kill. 
think pilot kills are really down to luck sometimes. Actually, a lot of times, really. Uh, I don't see any bullfighter, though. P-39 is being on fire. And it's good etiquette. If somebody's on fire, just leave them because, you know, somebody obviously critical to him. A lot of times, fires means huge critical damage, so they're gonna die. Just let them be. Uh, give that person the kill that they deserve. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. And can we finish him off? Can we finish him off? It's kind of hard to aim at him. Well, that was definitely a critical shot. See, that's the stuff that annoys me, like this BF-109 going for the target when I've set him on fire. It's like, come on, that should be it. Hello. Oh, so the guy that killed me, the guy that killed me watches my videos. I wonder if it was intentional. <laughs> It can't happen, it can't happen. Actually, one of my games that I had uh, the other day, somebody uh, accidentally, uh, on the enemy team, they are like, Oh, congrats, good job on killing Krebs. Whoops, wrong channel. <laughs> so they were obviously talking to each other, either in team or squad, to come and kill me. Um, I guess these things do happen, don't they? Alright, so how are our ships dying? That's what I want to know. Is that because of all those tanks shooting at our ships? I don't get it. Are they, like, shooting at our ships or something? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go for these, uh, priority targets, so... Bombers, bullfighters, fighters, stuff like that. They're priority targets. This guy's just dropping bombs on what he can. Let's lead it a bit. All of these things fly like golf balls, tennis balls. Ah! Oh. No, it's over! It's over! <laughs> oh man! See, but that's I guess to, to be expected, and 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 that map port, those matches just don't last long at all. They really don't last long. I could have gone for fighters and got plenty of more kills, but you really have to prioritize your targets. Go for the bombers, uh, torpedo bombers, whatever. Just stuff that are going to kill your ground targets. Those are priorities. So anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you got to see my controls a little bit. And if you did enjoy it, please, please let me know. And I'll do it for another episode. But until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you all later.